Retirees have many, many risks to protect. There's longevity risk, inflation risk, deflation risk, market risks, drawdown risk or withdrawal risk, and then there's what's called order of return risk. So let's take a look at order of return risk and what that means to you. You already know that the markets swing up and they swing down. When you're accumulating money inside of your accounts uh, during long stretches of time, during that time, there are periods of good returns and bad returns. But at the end of the day, when you average it all out, you get an average return. So for example, let's take a look at Sam. Sam puts in $100,000 in the market in 1973 and retires in 1995. His average return during that period of time is 10%. Even if we run the numbers backwards from 1995 to 1973, the average is still 10%, regardless of all the ups and downs. But let me tell you some important information that you need to know. The day you retire and start taking money out of your portfolio, all the rules change and the average return doesn't matter. Now this statement goes against what most, if not every retiree thinks. Of course, we've been accustomed to think a certain way. However, the day you retire, it's no longer about the average return, but rather the order of returns. So here's the deal. It's not just long-term average returns that impact your portfolio, but the timing of those returns. When retirees been, begin withdrawing money from their investments, their returns during the first few years can have a major impact on your portfolio. Losses in the first few years before and after retirement will absolutely devastate your retirement and your portfolio. You will either have to put more money in, you will have to take less income, take less out, or plumb out, just run out of money. Now, two retirees with identical wealth can have entirely different outcomes, depending on when they started retirement. If one person started retirement at the, uh, at the bottom of a bear market, then he might have a better investing success in retirement than another who started at the top of the market. Um, this is assuming again, and it doesn't really matter if the long-term averages are exactly the same. Now, in order to protect against order of return risk is why I speak to you so often about segregating your money uh, to not only have a portion that is invested in the market for uh, long-term growth, but that portion that is there specifically to provide you a monthly check, no matter what the ups and downs are. So this will not only give you a more reliability of income during your retirement, but it will also help you manage your emotions better at retirement. So I'll see you next time on Financial QB TV. And don't forget, it's all right in here. Get it right there. I'll see you next time on Financial QB TV.